Hey everyone, John here, and I want to talk to you guys today about the new Coral Highlands in Monster Hunter World. Also, I want to quickly say I'm sorry about the weird quality in the video. Uh, it's taken from a live stream directly from Capcom's side, so that's why it's a little fuzzy in some spots. Also, if you want to see the full stream, link is in the description down below. But anyway, let's get started. To begin, this level is actually really, really freaking pretty. Like, it's mo mainly, its main color palette is purple and gray, but it gets away with that really well. It's really, really nice looking. It's also got a lot of layers to it. There's a lot of high areas, a lot of low areas, a lot of climbing, and it has really cool, uh, I guess you can call it a gimmick, <clears throat> that lets you use your glider mantle to fly around because of the currents in this uh, area. And people are going to be using that a lot to get around and maybe fly up to flying monsters and grab onto them. Would that be really cool? I also really like how the coral has basically become trees in this place. There's also a lot of like smaller things if you pay attention that are like this little, uh, little I don't know, these little monsters sticking out of the ground. I, I don't even know what they're called. I don't think they're monsters like worms. I don't, I don't know. But there's so much going on in this level that I really like it. Out of all three of the levels that's been showed off so far, I think this one might be my favorite. We get to see our very first monster. It's a blue raptor thing called Z what the fuck Z to Z Yaku. Go fuck yourself. But anyway, this thing is got a special little gimmick that has been done in other monster games by other monsters. It can flash you, and not in the fun way. It can apply confusion to you. It can also hit you while you are confused. So it'll, it'll drop this little comb effect area where you want to get out of it, or you will essentially get confused and you'll be open for an attack. I don't know if. You look away from the flash, will it still affect you? I think it does. You can also see that he flash bomb- uh, flash bombs. Well, yeah, basically, he flashes a bunch of monsters in front of the flying wire and things. He starts actually eating one of them. And I like that attention to detail, where monsters will actually go out of their way to hunt other monsters and eat them. That's one thing I love about World, is that all the monsters have an agenda. They want to either eat, they want to sleep, they want to do something, they'll go out and do it. And I really like that. In this one little part, you just see a- just see a monster get eaten. And possibly even alive because he was just flash bombed. As we continue in the video, you actually get to see all those little, like, just t tiny little hills and, like, layers I was talking about. You also see the guy go under the little crevice thing and up the little ramp to his campsite. I like how in this one you have to actually climb up to your campsite in this map. I'm pretty sure there's multiple different campsites per map, but I really like this one just because you have to climb up to it. Just a small little change I like to see. He switches to the glaive and goes back out to. Explore the map. And now we get to see another new monster that was kind of a butt of some jokes <laughs> on the in the internet for a little while. It's this uh, little fluffy guy called Paul Polumu. Polumu. I don't know, his name makes me laugh. Polumu. Po Polumu. Yep, Polumu. I actually kind of like his name, honestly. I'm like a dumb fucking raptor. This guy's got a fun little gimmick, though. It can blow up air into its throat. It just gather them up in its throat and use it to float and po and possibly shoot out compressed air. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. It can also obscure its body, so it makes it kind of hard to see what it's going to do sometimes. It also kind of uses it to bounce around, so like, you see him smash down and attack the hunter uh, here and there in the video. Paluma is then attacked by another new monster called Ligan... the Liganian... Blocka 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 fucka 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 fucking my butt. Liganium? Let's go with Liganium, it's a Pokemon now. Proving that it is now the Apex Predator in this skies. And oh my god, watching these guys fight in the air is actually really cool. I kind of like the idea of monsters fighting in the air more than I do on the ground now, just because it looks really cool. And man, does uh, Paluma get fucked. Um, I also noticed that Leganium applies what it looks to be an ice effect on you. I don't know if this will drain your stamina or something. But it's kind of you kind of see a little frost on you. It's it's really hard to tell with, with the stream. Capcom developers kind of end the stream. Not end the stream. The end that section of the stream there. So yeah, I don't really have much else to talk about other than that. So if you guys uh, noticed anything that I didn't in the video, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps us out. And if you want to see more, subscribe to our channel game for more. Don't forget to share this video with anyone, you know, out there. Share it with your grandma, share it with your dad. I don't know. <laughs> uh, if also, if you guys want to help us a little more, we have a Patreon in the link in the description down below where you guys can give anything from a dollar to a billion dollars. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye!